Hey, welcome back. I want to do a trade update on this ZOM trade. Uh, this is getting really interesting. It's looking really bullish. Um, I'm in this trade, and actually I had a little bit more today when I saw uh, price break out of this triangle shape. Um, so it looks like we're we're kind of responding to all the indicators here. We're we're pushing up where we met the cloud, broken out of the triangle. And the moving average lines here, the blue one is the Tenkinson line, red one is Kijinson. You see how when price is trending, the, the Tenkinson stays above Kijinson. And we're looking for price to stay above the red line, Kijinson line. Okay, we fell down a little bit below here. Right here, we had a pretty good pullback. Uh, we flushed out some sellers here. And now we're getting ready to cross again. Once these two moving averages cross, uh, and you're, if you're in this trade, I would look to stay in this trade as long as the orientation remains where the blue is above the red and you should see price trending right along with the blue and above the red line. Uh, you never can't predict the top in these things. So you might, uh, in my opinion, you capture the lion's share of the trade if you wait until these averages cross. Um, so you, you would have lost a little ground here. This this traded up to oh, almost three dollars, and where they finally crossed, you had a candle below the red. This is a sell signal right here. Moving average cross, price closed below the red. See right here, these these prices are right on the red, but we didn't get the full body of a candle underneath the red, so that wasn't quite a sell signal yet. Uh, that was just a pullback, and um, we're definitely above the cloud on the four-hour chart. So technically, if you want to stay in this long, if you're going to be a long-term uh, investor or long-term swing trade, you just stay in this trade as long as it stays above this green cloud on a four-hour chart. So rather than uh, try to guess these moves and, and whatnot, just... Uh, and you just stay in as long as it stays above the cloud here. Um, we're getting some nice flat spots. These are uh, support areas. Um, so it's hard to say where these things are going to go, but uh, that's there's a couple ways to trade it. If you just want to do a fast momentum swing trade and maybe get it out daily, you just look for this orientation here where we have price staying above the red. We're getting quite a quite a bit of momentum right here and quite often this price will pull back price tends to want to pull back and test the cloud and, and hopefully take off again uh, if we get price all of a sudden fall below the cloud then typically that's the uh, that's the Kijinson on the four hour chart which is where I told you uh, we would typically exit the trade so so these lines kind of represent uh, the blue. Let's see. I think the blue more represents the cloud on the 30 minute chart. And I guess the red represents the cloud and the blue is closer to maybe Kijinson line. So you get a little bit different uh, perspective with, with each time frame. Um, for me, I'm, I'm getting in based on the four hour chart, based on this TK cross, since it's occurring now, that's gonna be the baseline for my trade now. Originally, the baseline for my trade was this support area right here, the, the flat bottom of the cloud. The price got down below there, full body of a candle below that cloud, and that is a sell signal. Um, price comes back up into the cloud, Quite often when you're in the interior of the cloud, it's indecision. Price could go either way. It could get rejected at the top. It could bounce off the bottom. So typically the trading rule for Ichimoku is you don't trade inside the cloud. If you're already in it, you might want to wait and see if you get a reaction here. But we don't close it or we don't open it if we're inside the cloud. Uh, of course, that's for you to decide, but you know, a lot of people chase momentum or they buy it and they just hope without having any solid rules. So 
um, creating a rule a baseline and rules for your trade helps uh, helps reduce your uh, downside risk and here we're going to try to maximize our profits by watching these moving averages so hopefully this thing takes off Monday uh, you can see it kind of did the same thing here it, it kind of sputtered for a minute and then it really took off so we don't know if it's going to produce that kind of move again maybe it'll just start to to take on a more sustainable trend and not all this wild momentum because when you get wild momentum like this it's uh it's hard to sustain it for for long um, you start getting this really thin cloud which if price comes down to test this cloud being this straight up and thin it, uh, it tends to pass through it like it's not even there so this is a good sign here because we're getting a nice thick cloud a uh, nice shape to it to provide some support there's a chance we'll come up here and dance around maybe we'll come down and test this and if we test this and bounce from there that is a very bullish sign so we just have to watch how this evolves and kind of play it by ear here so hopefully you guys are kind of catching on how this indicator works i just I really love it. It's going to be in all my charts and all my reviews. So get used to it. Um, so we'll check back uh, Monday, Tuesday and see how this is going. Um, I kind of think it, it really didn't take off today because it's Friday and traders are kind of like, well, what if we have a news event over the weekend um, and this thing's down hard pre-market Monday, you know, um, that tends to, to happen a lot on Friday. Um, if we've had a real bearish week, then they might tend to get in, hoping that there's a change in news and things will pop on Monday. And if we've had a really bullish week, then they quite often will sell on Friday. Or sometimes it'll just be flat. I mean, you really can't predict markets. It's just, it's just kind of something I've noticed. All right. So I'm going to sign off for now and then we'll check on Monday with this trade.